What's up gamers, Proto here, and welcome to another episode of Like or Dislike, where we look at some of the latest games coming out. I give you a synapse of the game, tell you what I thought about to get my hands on it, getting some playtime with it, and showing you some gameplay all at the same time. And today we are looking at Death Stranding. Now first off, I have to apologize. I was planning on getting this review up sooner, but there is a lot to take in on this game, and I didn't want to just rush out a review on it. Granted, my time was also a little bit limited, but I didn't want to give you guys a half review. So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into this review. Death Stranding is a narrative driven third person open world game created by the maker of the Metal Gear series. This takes place in an alternate timeline where an event called the Death Stranding happened, and the lines between the dead and the living are mingled together. If someone dies and their body is not burned by a certain time length, it will turn into what they call a BT that roams the lands and if it discovers a human, it will eat the person and causes an explosion event called a crater, wiping out everything in the area. Now the US has been hit by this death stranding event so hard that people have taken up living in isolated cities, cut off from one another, just trying to make it in this world. So you play as Sam, a porter that transports goods from city to city across this dangerous world because you have an ability called Dooms that allows you to sense the BTs or if your Dooms are strong enough you can actually see them and avoid them. Now for everyone else that doesn't have the Doom abilities, they created what they call BBs which helps them see the movements of the BTs. Now you're asked by the last president of the US to help complete a mission by connecting all the cities that have been isolated and separated because of the Death Stranding through an infrastructure that they have been working on over the past three years to reunite the country and to help everybody survive in this world. Now, just to give you guys a heads up, this is most definitely a Hedo Kojima game. And I apologize if I butcher his name. I've been trying to practice on it a while. But this is definitely one of his type of games. It is cryptic, there's mysteries all around, nothing is straightforward, everything is weird, and there's so much to take in on this game. So that's why it took me a while. It wasn't just like a simple playthrough. I had to really like pay attention to a lot of things. Now if you've played his Metal Gear series games before, Metal Gear Solid, any of those, then you already know what to be expected on his type of level. But if you haven't, that's your warning about this. Now, as you travel this world, you'll be transporting different goods and completing tasks along the way, helping people and building trust, which in turn gets you more access to more items and things that can help you traverse this world. Now, you'll be able to load out how you want to transport goods, equipment, and you can carry and you'll be able to pick up lost goods they are discovering in the world for additional resources as well. Now, you can change your loadout on the go, which is a big plus when you find items because you have to worry about weight distribution and all that. And I'll talk about that in a split second. Like I said, you have to worry about that along with other type of management systems. You have to worry about the weight of what you're carrying, making sure you don't fall over, damaging the goods, making sure you can still maneuver. You have to worry about your health, the health of your BP that uses, that helps you detect the BTs. If it starts acting up, you gotta let it rest. You gotta worry about resting yourself, keeping your body clean, even to the point that you gotta take a piss. So if you're not into that, that, that deeper level of a management type of game, this might not be the thing for you. Now the controls could be better laid out, but the concept of them, it's good. I understand how the controls work. It just sometimes it just feels kind of clunky, especially when things are happening very fast. Sometimes you press the wrong button don't mean to. And I understand that they really try to incorporate the little pad on the PS4. It just didn't work out for me. Like especially if I was trying to sneak around and not be detected, accidentally hit the touchpad, I'm just speaking and everybody knows who I am. But I give them kudos for trying to incorporate every bit of the controller into the game. Now, along with all this, you also have to worry about other humans that will try to steal your cargo and other groups that don't want to see you succeed in your mission. You literally have some groups that want to stay isolated. They don't want you to help. They don't want your help. They want to stay by themselves. And you have other groups that are actually creating these crater events. But that's about as much as the story is going to go. I don't want to dive in it too much. I don't want to tell too many spoilers. Now, graphics wise, this game is extremely beautiful and crisp. 
They really use all the power and the capabilities of the PS4 in my opinion. Now the cutscenes are very detailed and the environment is amazing from everything I saw. And as you can see all this gameplay was captured off of a PS4 Pro. And that's pretty much the review in a nutshell. Like I said, I didn't want to dive too much into the story. I didn't want to lead too many spoilers. Because if you like his type of games, if you like the type of games where it just takes you in the world and you're discovering everything, you'll like it. But let's not waste any more time and let's jump into the pros versus the cons. And starting off with the pros, the first one, the game is challenging. You have so many different levels that you have to worry about, so many systems, like I said, worrying about your health, your BB self, how you transport goods. It's a lot to take in consideration. So you really have to plan out your plan out your loads, how you move, the way the routes you're gonna take. So it's definitely challenging on that. The next part we're gonna look at, you play at your own speed. And I personally like that. You can do the missions at your own speed, your own pace. Not many, a lot of time missions, but even with the time, you still have time to plan everything out. And I love the fact that you can, like I said, you can change your loadout on the fly as you discover things, as you use things to make sure you can transport more stuff or if you need to, let go of stuff. And the last part we're gonna look at, this game is beautiful. The detail and the graphics, everything. I thought this game was very beautiful. I, I could sit back and just play this game based off the beauty of it and just watching the cutscenes. Some cases I feel like I'm watching a movie or a very good TV show. But with the pros done, let's take a look at the cons. The first con we're going to look at is the management system. And this will probably be the main thing in my opinion that will probably turn off a lot of people. If you don't want to worry about how much to carry stuff, how to carry it, worrying about keeping yourself clean, keeping your BB clean, worrying about all these different systems and how they work together, this might not be the game for you. The next one we're going to look at, and this is a personal pet peeve for me, is the controls. Like I said, I understand the controls, I think the concept for them was great, but it's just not suited for this type of controller. I'm not saying it's suited for a 360 controller. I feel like the controls could have been a little bit more simpler, but that's just me. And the last comment we're going to look at is the NPCs. And I say this because they are constantly contacting you, talking to you about things. And sometimes it gets annoying. It breaks the immersion of the world. So that was a that was another personal pet peeve. But to me, like I said, it can get annoying. So that's pretty much the pros and the cons. Overall, I think the pros overweight the cons. So if you're willing to put the time into the game, you really enjoy it. But like I said, I can understand nobody really wants to do all that managing, the weight, your body, all that stuff. I can understand that turn off a lot of people. A lot of people just want to be able to play a game. So I can definitely see that. But overall, I'm enjoying it. I'm still enjoying playing the game. I'm still discovering everything because I'm taking everything slowly at time. And I'll definitely be doing some streaming of this. So make sure to be checking out on the streams on this. But let me know how you guys feel. How do you feel about the game? Have you got it? Does this help you think about getting the game? Let me know how you guys feel in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. It lets me know you like games like this. And I'll work on trying to do more reviews of different other games. And if there's a certain game you want me to review, let me know. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I talk about stuff going on in the gaming and tech world. I do reviews on some of the latest gaming tech that's out. I do top 10 of new games coming out every month and so much more. Make sure to follow the social media pages so you can keep up to date with what's going on with me. Or if you're going to reach out to me. I love talking about gaming, so don't be afraid to hit me up. Catch me streaming on Twitch, playing indie, PC, and console games. I'll be streaming on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So make sure to follow me on Twitch and don't be afraid to speak to me in the chat. Sometimes I might be a little bit focused on the game, but I'll definitely be looking at every big conversations that people are having with me. But this is Proto, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.